you know what? We're gonna show you something that's new. It's from a Kentucky entrepreneur. It's a night fishing system. This thing right here keeps you from bumping against stuff and keeps your boat all pretty. What do you call this? It's well, a rub rail with a rub it's rail. It's a rub rail. So, yeah, every just glass a, boat has one. Just, just, just a, now let's let's see what happens when I hit one of these buttons. Now watch this. Black lights. It's a UV the, LED black light. Now what the and the one on the front. These are docking lights or snag lights. All right, why in the world would you need something like that? The black lights obviously will illuminate a fluorescent fishing line for you at night. You can casting direction, detects bites, so on and so forth. Now, if anybody worm fishes or uses or jig fishes or does any kind of field fishing, the most important thing you can possibly do is stay in touch with your line. Right. Know what your line's doing. Now, if you've got this going on at night and your line is very vividly lit up so you can see every little bump, every little move, and so you're gonna detect that strike. Right. A lot quicker. Yeah, very quick. Now, how in the world did you come up with this idea? Years of night fishing, um, mostly with the on top of the gunnel system with the suction cups, and got aggravated with it. You know, broken plugs, um, broken lights, lights falling off on the side of the boat, end up in a lake here or there. All right, you talk about non-invasive. It's not going to get in your way. No. It's not going to fall in the water. They're built down below the gunnel. So you get the, the bugs that you do draw, they stay down beneath your feet now, opposed to being up in your face in your face and all over you. Installation time, um, your dealers uh, or myself, normally it takes right at two hours for one person to do it. Uh, we've streamlined it, we've built a wiring harness inside there, all marine grade wire. Everything's punched into the front of the boat at the bow. You gain your power at the front of the boat add your switches and you're and you're done you know when you turn this system off you have no idea you have it there and you're not taking away the looks of a 50 60 70 thousand dollar bass boat you know so that's that was the the concept behind it you got a fish nice good for the, for those folks who have never night fished and there are plenty of people who's you know when when the sun goes down they go to the house right you know, you don't want to fish those during the day when it's 100 degrees out. Like today, it was 107 degrees. Plus, you got all the boat traffic. You know, it, you want to get out and just fish and enjoy yourself without the hassle. You, you, you got a night fish. So you're trying to convince your wife that you need one of these systems. Safety factor, honey. What you have is a system that is, is going to be seen from a long distance away. Obviously, we have functions here that we're trying to use for night fishing. But if you're leaving them on and you're running down the lake, you're, you're gonna be able to be seen for anybody that's out there. You know, right now, it's probably confusing a lot of folks who have no idea, pleasure boaters. Is that, the, is that the new status symbol? Is that the new, you know how you'd see the cars driving down the road with the blue lights underneath it? <laughs> They're probably scratching their heads thinking, what, what in that? the world yeah. is that? It's not a bling thing. For those folks who've never used this system, or, or black lights, what kind of line do you need? The most important thing about the line itself, it needs to be fluorescent. The black lights are for illuminating the fishing line. The moon glow, which is in the middle of the boat, is for illuminating the bank on a really dark night when you can't quite see it. It'll illuminate the overhangs, you know, especially in the summertime when you got all the foliage out there, and it makes it very easy to cast by. Fish. He's a baby. <laughs> now, obviously, this is probably patented. Yes. So it's patent pending. I uh, did it in 2008. Um, I've been started developing the system in 2007, um, and been working diligently on trying to streamline it so we can mass produce them. How popular are these things getting? Are you staying busy? Very, very busy. Yeah, we've uh, we've tripled our business in two years. Um, so we can't complain about the business thing now. It's uh, a production thing. We can't make them fast enough, which is a good problem to have. Obviously, owning your own company is a little stressful, but I am, uh, as they say, living the American dream.